पॉलिसी बाजार पर एक करोड़ रुपए का टर्म लाइफ इंश्योरेंस केवल चार सौ पचास रूपए महीने ऐसी शुरू राहुल गांधी भारत जोड़ो यात्रा हैज एंटर्ड उत्तर प्रदेश एंड दे वॉक ऑलमोस्ट नाइन किलोमीटर इन साइड उत्तर प्रदेश क्लोज टू बागपत आराधना मिश्रा मोना इज एम एल ए एंड लीडर ऑफ कांग्रेस इन असेंबली ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश मोना जी गुड रिस्पॉन्स वी हैव बीन सींग दैट पीपल आर कमिंग हेयर स्टैंडिंग ओवर वेलमिंग रिस्पॉन्स यू कैन से बट ट्वीट एंड लेटर्स फ्रॉम लीडर्स ऑफ अपोजिशन अखिलेश यादव हैज रिटर्न लेटर टू यू extended best wishes mayavati also and jain chaudhary also but but we were we were thinking and you also you people also written a letter thinking that that united opposition will be seen in uttar pradesh disappointment from them see uh, we it was a request uh, and we anticipated that uh, the entire oppo opposition in fact if you remember when the yatra entered delhi then similarly we had requested written letters to the mps member of parliaments and few of them joined also the same anticipation we had and we want that the entire opposition should come together and if they if they want to fight uh, against uh, corruption uh, if they want to fight against unemployment the price rise and the issues of the country then they have to come and walk along with rahul ji At, on the same thought we had written letters to akhilesh ji mayavati ji jayan ji and other leaders also uh, it is their own decision they have taken a call not to join they have extended their good wishes we are grateful for that but definitely we would have we were looking forward for them to join and still uh, we have hope and anticipation that if they want to join they are most welcome uh, a political question from you mona ji because you are a leader here and you are in you are the part of all political decision making in 2024 Are we going to see a united opposition because Akhilesh Yadav has said that BJP and Congress are the same? So, are we going to see that some some kind of alliance with with uh, with with Amma, with Samajwadi Party because the results for you in 2022 and 2019 they were very disappointing. See, we have whatever the we, I'm, I agree that the results which we had not anticipated in 22, though we worked very hard under the able leadership of uh, uh, leadership of Priyanka Gandhi ji. but unfortunately this is democratic uh, this is a big democracy and the uh, decision of the people uh, the, the mandate they have given we all respect that mandate uh, yes uh, we have always extended our uh, the, uh, uh, support and welcome the opposition to come together on a say on the same platform we have our own uh, ethics we have the party has they have we are uh, the mandate for which we are asking the vote So we on those if somebody wants to come together with us, they are most welcome. Ma'am, we have seen more than ten days to Rajasthan, fifteen days to Madhya Pradesh, uh, more than seven days to Maharashtra. Why only three days to Uttar Pradesh? Though Uttar Pradesh is a very big state, politically active. Rahul Gandhi represented a mighty constituency of Uttar Pradesh. Why only three days to Uttar Pradesh? See, this is a route that was pre-decided when the yatra started from Kanya Gumari. So there is, this was a route that was decided, and uh, he is walking on the same route in every state. So why there is so buzz about Uttar Pradesh? All right, we'll keep catching you up. So uh, Aradna Mishra Mona, who is a little bit on the back foot, when we asked her that why only three days to Uttar Pradesh, we all know that Congress is. not congress has not done well in uttar pradesh in assembly election and lok sabha and the future prospects are also not very good in 2024 because akhilesh yadav and mayawati they have tweeted and written letters but they are not with rahul gandhi walking together so that is a very big indication for 2024 as well in ghaziabad with manoj thakur saurabh shukla for ndtv